Many people lament the slow pace of research progress on the causes of schizophrenia, and it is certainly true that far too many individuals continue to suffer from this debilitating disorder. But it's also true that there have been significant scientific advances in recent years. We've progressed from overly simplistic theories that focused on single genes, our specific experiences, to complex models that involve many interacting influences. Now, Current Directions in Psychological Science, a journal of the Association for Psychological Science, has published a special issue on schizophrenia to provide a modern, state-of-the-science overview. I'm pleased to note that Current Directions is one of the highest-ranked journals in the field. Our objective in this issue is to cover all phases of the development of schizophrenia, from the origins of vulnerability to the long-term outcome, and from virtually every level and stage of analysis, including genetics, brain function, phenomenology, and prenatal, psychosocial, and cognitive factors. To get to this contemporary view, it's interesting to consider how far we needed to come. In the late 1800s, Emil Kreplin referred to the syndrome we now call schizophrenia as early onset dementia, and he emphasized the cognitive deterioration that typically is associated with the illness. Because of its onset in late adolescence or early adulthood, he proposed that changes in sex hormones were involved. In the 1920s, Kretschmer proposed that schizophrenia was associated with a certain body type, a frail aesthetic body. Subsequent investigators measured numerous biological factors, including carbohydrate metabolism, blood circulation, heat regulation, spinal fluid protein, blood potassium, and the tuberculosis bacterium. It was later discovered that some of the abnormalities observed in these measures were due to institutionalization. In the 50s and 60s, psychosocial theories were popular, and some researchers postulated that mothers engender serious mental disorders by being unduly cold and critical, the so-called schizophrenogenic mother. These ideas not only proved to be incorrect, but they also caused great distress for the parents who were being blamed. None of these ideas proved to be the answer, and scientists gradually gave up the search for the silver bullet. They now have come to believe that schizophrenia is not a single disorder, but rather a syndrome with multiple causes. Simplistic notions have faded into the past. Scientists now agree that the etiology of schizophrenia, like many other illnesses, is highly complex and that identifying the causes will be much more challenging than previously assumed. The special issue of current directions reflects this new vision. The emerging picture is multifaceted. Schizophrenia appears to be on a continuum with other psychotic disorders and the causes involve dynamic interactions that unfold over time. Suzanne King and her colleagues describe discoveries about the way abnormalities in fetal brain development can contribute to vulnerability. Michael Paul Guiley reviews developments in the field of genetics, including molecular genetics. Martin Harrow and Thomas Job move forward in the developmental course and explore the long-term prognosis. Papers by Ty Cannon and colleagues and Anthony Grace address the structural and functional brain abnormalities that accompany schizophrenia, as well as the clues that they might hold for understanding the nature of the brain dysfunction. Jill Hooley shifts the focus to the social level and examines the social factors that can trigger the expression of brain dysfunction. Michael Green explores social cognition, and Philip Harvey describes the contribution of general cognitive impairments to the disability associated with schizophrenia. Anne Kring and her colleagues address expressive and receptive deficits in emotion. Finally, state-of-the-art developments in psychosocial and pharmacologic treatment are discussed in articles by Jean Addington and Mark Geyer. We believe this special issue of Current Directions provides a scientific update on schizophrenia that will be of broad interest to scientists, to students, and to the general public. 
We also hope that it will serve to inspire young investigators who, in the future, will move us closer to solving the complex puzzle of schizophrenia.